The next station I'd like to recognize um, is, is, is Prize for doing very local work on the newer show. WVOX, AM, WVIP have done terrific work over the years and would like to recognize them for excellence in broadcasting, for outstanding editorial and commentary with the Sons of the American Legion interviews. We have Ken Kratzer and John Churn, um, and also with working with the American Legion. Ken? Please. Thank you. We've been a lot about being here. I mean, we're an American Legion folks, and uh, we've developed a media group. And, you know, we talked about the wonderful play Oklahoma. We went out to Fort Sill to the Army base there with my dad and my uncle commissioned in 1942. And then we covered the football game between Army and Oklahoma, where at halftime they, hon they honored the 100th anniversary of Army ROTC at that game. And what an experience. We've got to thank everybody at WVOX for giving this opportunity to be in the broadcasting world, starting with legendary broadcaster Bill O'Shaughnessy, who founded the station so years ago, and has been a legend and leader in the field. Uh, David O'Shaughnessy, the station manager, Judy, Cindy, Don, and the morning host, Bob Marone, who responded to a press release I sent to him describing our town's Memorial Day plans. And he said, call us up and tell us about what you're planning. And tell us about afterwards how it went. A couple weeks later, he calls up and says, can you tell us about Flag Day? Well, I had to look up Flag Day protocol online, but we did a report. And then uh, soon after, we started doing a weekly show covering veterans in the military. And we never miss a Monday. Uh, we've been doing it for 10 years, even on three day on special holidays we do the show. Uh, we always say the soldiers and sailors don't get the Monday off, so we do our show. And we thank everyone at WVOX for giving us an opportunity to sell, tell the story of veterans, uh, military, uh, historians, a lot of civic supporters. We talked a lot about the Girl Scouts. The Hudson Valley group has donated one million uh, boxes of Girl Scout cookies since 9-11 to send them overseas. We tell the story of the heroic men and women of the, uh, the New York Army National Guard whenever we can. They're always going overseas to be on the front lines or serving. Uh, whenever there's an emergency in New York State, and it's just an honor to be able to sit with them today. Uh, we think that uh, uh, we've been able to use some innovation in terms of smartphones, everything we do. We did 300 videos on YouTube last year and almost all of them were off the smartphone technology. We get the chance to interview many members of the military, hear their story, hear what they're working on, uh, hear what their concerns are. Uh, we talk to uh, many public officials about taking care of veterans uh, from the needs uh, for health care, for education, and, and frankly, too often now, we have, we're talking about suicide prevention for veterans. This did a show on that last Monday. And uh, also the uh, concussion awareness. We cover college football at West Point and, and at the Maritime College, and there's a lot of similarities between military, Army, soldier injuries, and concussion awareness, and a concussion uh, awareness and football injuries. So we, we focus on that. We have some terrific partners who spent a lot of time covering uh, the, the great people at West Point. We, we started with football, but it's amazing chances we've had to talk to so many of the officers, instructors, cadets, and, and the leadership that are at West Point. We were there yesterday. And then uh, we work also with Annapolis. We were down there. We interviewed a woman basketball player from Annapolis last year who's branching submarines. And I thought that was astounding. I had an aunt who was a 27-year Navy veteran and it was in nursing when I was about the only thing a woman could do in the Navy. And now there's a woman at, at, at Annapolis or branching submarines. And that, that was just one of the stories that stuck out for us. We have a chance to cover Iona College. Uh, all they do is win. Uh, Tim Kloos mm -hmm. has had a great run. Uh, and uh, also the State University at Maritime, a great school right under the Throgsnack Bridge. We've been working with their football coaches, telling the story there and, and what they do. Uh, it said, well, I think we're pretty good at using social media, using things like Facebook Live. It's all about enlarging the audience. Uh, from our base at WVOX, our show every Monday. And uh, uh, I just really want to th thank also our partner, uh, RallyPoint.com, a 1.5 million uh, veteran website that we uh, are able to distribute our content on. And uh, 
Uh, I just really, also like to thank the uh, 370,000 members of the Sons of the American Legion, which is our organization serving America's veterans and really serving the two million veterans who are members of the American Legion. And uh, we're just so happy to have that opportunity. I just want to take a personal second to uh, remember my Uncle Warren, who uh, uh, led soldiers at the Battle of the Bulge. And uh, he came back and went to NYU's athletic department, sports information director, got into public television, uh, worked for the New York station, started something called Sunrise Semester, and then he became a station manager in uh, Philadelphia and Rhode Island. And uh, I know he'd very, be proud I, I get the chance to uh, work in, in uh, community radio. So thank you very much, everybody, the New York State Broadcasters Association. It's really an honor to be here today.